submission. Don't we all just love that word? It's such a great word, submission. The Lord asks us not only to submit to Him, but to also submit to our spouses. Yeah, um, I had a really radical thing happen to me where I was reading the Old Testament and I was reading about Sarah and Abraham and she would call Abraham her master. Like she would say master to him. And I just remember thinking, who would ever call their husband master? Like that is just taking it way overboard. But then I got this really overwhelming feeling from the Holy Spirit of submission. And he said to me, you're going to call Billy master. Okay, don't judge. Keep watching, hear me through. You are going to call Billy master for a time, for a season. And I was like, no. No, 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 you've got the wrong person. You're definitely not talking to me. I, I am not even capable of that. I, those words would never come out of my mouth. And sure enough, I started calling Billy master. Okay, I know a lot of you are judging right now and you're just like, okay, why did I even subscribe to this channel? But hear me through. I started calling him master and at first he like really laughed and thought he was like, well, excuse me, you know, like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And I was just like, God has told me that I need to call you master. And he was like, really? Huh? Okay. Well, I guess if God told you that you need to call me master, then go ahead. And, um, so I started calling him master. He would say things like, Hey Chai, you know, he calls me Chai sometimes. Hey Chai, you know, would you um, close the living room door? And I would say, yes, master. And he would start laughing. <laughs> and, and even I on the inside was kind of, you know, laughing at the whole thing. But I knew in my spirit that I meant it. It wasn't coming from this humorous place. I really meant it. Like I was submitting to my husband and I was calling him master. So long story short, this went on for about six months and it was really cool because it softened his heart and it really helped him to see that his wife wasn't coming from this place of uh, well, you know, I'm the boss around here and you're gonna do as I say and You know, no man's gonna boss me around. No man's gonna tell me what to do and not that I was behaving that way before but You know, there was a little bit of just like Rolling my eyes and thinking like he thinks he's the boss. He thinks he's so great you know? <laughs> All of that stuff so I was able to sort of turn him into a softer husband by submitting to him, which you would think it would be the opposite, that if I submitted that he would take advantage of that and that he would start becoming really sort of arrogant and bossing me around and making me his little slave, but it didn't work out that way. And so the Lord truly had his hand on it and I don't call him master anymore, but I'm sure that another season will come where the Lord might put that on me, where I need to go back into that super submissive place. But I hope that some of you at home might give it a try and see how your husband reacts. I mean, some of my friends were like, my husband would never want me to call him master. And I said, well, cool, worked for me, may not work for you, but it really helped Billy because I think he knew there's no way that anything other than a supernatural force could have given China the willingness to call me master. And he's right. It was definitely God. And it gave me more of a servant heart. It made me feel like I wanted to serve him. Like I wanted to cook him a nice meal or rub his feet or answer the phone with, hey master. <laughs> Okay, so you there you have it. Submission is not a fun word. Nobody likes it. But, you know, we submit to God by praying and by reading the word and by being of service to others. You know, 
in the Bible it says that the man is the head of the family. I know I'm going to get so much criticism for this, but it's not me saying this. Remember, this is what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says, not what China is saying, okay? So I struggled with this and really had a hard time with this for a while. This was not something that came easy breezy to me, okay? So please try not to judge. I'm just coming from my own experience. It did give me more of a servant's heart and it did make me appreciate the things that he does for the family and the way he protects us and takes care of us and provides for us even in the times that he was struggling you know because he's an actor so sometimes you know it's feast or famine in our business and it was cool because during those six months, there were, you know, a couple months there where he wasn't working and I was able to call him master and build him up and just let him know what an amazing father and husband he was and how much I appreciated him. And it really turned our marriage around in lots of ways. And I think it made him appreciate me more and it made me appreciate him more. And it also made me submit even more to Christ because I was able to see that truly the Holy Spirit had worked through me and enabled me and equipped me to do something that in my flesh, I was resisting big time. And I think that it was a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a discipline, like Chai, you were getting a little carried away. And so therefore you are going to call your husband master for six months. It was great, but it really was great.